Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about my top five magnesium forms that we like to utilize in our office. So let's get right into it. So let's recap. Signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Muscle spasm, sleep issues, stress and anxiety, hypertension, constipation, fatigue, heart palpitations, atrial fibrillation or AFib, cognition issues, headaches, especially with ma um, migraines, asthma, and preeclampsia. So you can utilize it for hypertension during pregnancy. Cofactors. Magnesium is uh, a cofactor in over 300 enzymatic processes. So it's very important for a lot of different functions. So let's give you an example. When you have vitamin D, which is the inactive form of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, magnesium is a cofactor to make inactive to active 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. So it's an important cofactor in the conversion of inactive to active forms of vitamin D. Once 125 is, is made, 125 hydroxy vitamin D also helps with the uptake of magnesium. What kind of foods have magnesium? Avocado, almonds, dark chocolate, pumpkin seeds, uh, spinach, Swiss chard, quinoa, sunflower seeds, flax seed, Brazil nuts, bananas, and salmon. So there are a lot of different foods out there and you can just go and Google the list of different foods that have high magnesium. But essentially what happens is with magnesium deficiency, there's so many things that can happen. That's why it's so crucial to have enough magnesium in our system. So what are my top forms of magnesium? Let's get right into that. Number one is magnesium citrate. Now it's not in any specific order so of importance, it's just we're listing it. Magnesium citrate. Magnesium is bound to citric acid, uh, basically found in fruits, and it's a good form of antioxidants. It's highly bioavailable and absorbs very well in the GI tract. Okay? It's utilized for migraines and constipation. Okay? Now all my, uh, magnesiums will have impact on migraine and constipation, but magnesium citrate is especially good for constipation. Magnesium glycinate. is Magnesium is bound, uh, bound to glycinate, used for protein synthesis. So glycinate is an amino acid which is utilized to make protein. Good for athletic performance and recovery and general body and muscle um, health. Glycine is also a neurotransmitter, so it's good for sleep and depression, okay? Number three, magnesium L-theanate. It helps with brain function and cognition and memory. So it's, it's an excellent uh, magnesium form that crosses the blood-brain barrier, blood-brain barrier, and makes an impact on function of the brain. Magnesium torate is very similar to magnesium L-theanate. Crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's good for migraines. It's also been shown to help with uh, diabetes or insulin resistance. In some rat studies, it also shows that it reduces or slows down the process of cataract disease in the eyes, which is a leading cause of blindness. Number five, magnesium sulfate basically Epsom salt. You can absorb it through your skin. So if you can't tolerate magnesium supplements, you can take an Epsom salt bath and you can increase your magnesium levels. In the emergency room, they'll also use it as an IV and it uses it for like acute issues with breathing, asthma, and preeclampsia. So magnesium can be utilized in many different forms and it can be utilized uh, very effectively if you know which form makes the most impact for certain conditions, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.